Algorand has brought real-world use cases to the blockchain space all around the world. Yet their utilities are still relatively unknown when it comes to the general crypto space. So here's just a short list of some use cases that Algorand has brought. 1. They were used in the American Red Cross Care Survivor Wallet for disaster relief. 2. They're the prime sponsor and public blockchain for the largest soccer league in the world, FIFA. And 3. They're even used by CERN's spin-off Planet Watch to create for an immutable platform to track air quality. And then of course there's everything that Silvio McCauley's done from his history in cryptography, and now often touted as a founding father of the whole crypto and blockchain space. And this is largely because Silvio's work and award-winning research is what eventually led to the creation of zero-knowledge proofs and verifiable random functions, which, as we can see, are technological solutions used in more blockchains than we can count today. But of all these great things, perhaps the biggest highlight for me is seeing how Algorand has seemingly become the blockchain of Italy. Now, this is an unofficial title I've given Algorand, but let's go further in depth into their use cases to see exactly why I've decided to give them this title. So to start off, Algorand has been fairly involved with the underlying adoption of blockchain technology in Italy through various organizations and consortiums to bring further understanding of the technology. And who better than Algorand to do so? I mean, their team is largely filled of professors and advisors from top academias. So there's actually two organizations that Algorand is working with that are looking to drive further blockchain knowledge and adoption into Italy. And that's Blockchain Italia and the Italian Working Group on Distributed Ledger Technology. So Blockchain Italia is actually a Milan-based software house that's focused on fintech and blockchain-related solutions. And when we look at their other members in here, we of course see that Algorand is listed right there as an institutional partner. But beyond this, we see some other pretty significant names. There's also Inappa. This is one of the most prominent DLT organizations in the world as they collaborate with both the public and private sector, especially within the European Commission. And they even had quite a significant role in the actual developments of MICA itself. We also see specific organizations and even academias tied to Italy's infrastructure, such as the Italian Trade Agency and SME Alliance. On the other hand, when we look at their academic partners, we can see it includes multiple universities and even a fintech lab, which makes a lot of sense given Algorand's academic focus. So as we can see, Blockchain Italia is quite the behemoth when it comes to Italy's infrastructure, and they certainly live up to their name. They even offer a variety of their own services, as we can see here, ranging from NFTs, dApps, consultancy, tokenomics, and so much more. And now you may be thinking that the Algorand involvement here seems extremely small-scaled. After all, they seem to be listed here as nothing more than an institutional partner. Well, believe it or not, Blockchain Italia is actually one of the companies that are within Algorand's foundational startup ecosystem, in which each member was awarded $18,000 in funding by Borderless Capital. So yeah, it's definitely much bigger than Algorand just being an institutional member, but they're directly built within the Algorand ecosystem. Now, on the other hand, there's also the Italian Working Group on DLT. As you could guess by the name, this is the DLT-focused arm of Italy's infrastructure, and they actually have a pretty unique goal in mind. To further carry out the academic focus of Algorand's roots, they'll be collaborating together to form the new International School of Algorand Smart Contracts. And they even mentioned that there will be blockchain experts from Rome, Florence, Trento, and more. And the whole initiative will be led by Massimo Bartoletti, who's been a professor at the University of Cagliari since 2008. When we look over at Massimo's contribution to the DLT education space through his publications, we see he's got quite a long list of research publications under his belt, ranging from traditional projects like Bitcoin to more general purpose uses of blockchain overall. So these are sort of the organization and education collaborations on Algorand that really make them Italy's blockchain. But now let's move on to the exciting stuff where the utility really happens. So there's two parts of Italy's core economy that Algorand's been integrated into. The first is with SIAE, which is Italy's copyright collecting agency for artists, musicians, authors, and more of that sorts. And they were actually created all the way back in 1882, so lots of history there. In fact, these guys are ranked number 6 in the world when it comes to collecting as confirmed by the CISAC. 
So this connection and partnership was initially formed in late 2019 to early 2020. But since then, we've seen this collaboration progress much further and materialize into real-world use cases for the copyright agency using Algorand. This is, of course, unlocked by the use of NFTs on Algorand, and SIE had actually initially tried to use Hyperledger for this exact solution, but they found the public and scalable aspects of Algorand to be much more fitting for their goals. So here's a few exciting stats about this collaboration since they initially connected. There have been over 4 million NFTs created to represent each unique copyright and each of their 95,000 members that they oversee. You could argue that this alone already brings more real-world use cases with blockchain than just about 90% of other projects in this space are offering. I mean, when we look at most of the market, it's largely focused on retail P2P use cases like DEXs, swaps, or lending protocols, which are great and all. But when we look at Algorand, they're literally being used as a solution to further enhance the copyright collecting industry for Italy. But that's not even the best part yet. Because perhaps the biggest partnership for Algorand overall, and especially for Italy's adoption of DLT, has to be with the Bank of Italy and the Italian Insurance Authority choosing Algorand as their public blockchain for digital sureties for banking and insurance. And digital sureties or guarantees are really just another fancy way of saying reaching consensus of digital information. In other words, it's one of the most fundamental use cases of blockchain, and one that Algorand does amazingly with their peer proof of state consensus mechanism. So seeing that Algorand will be providing consensus-like services to both Italy's banking and insurance markets speak volumes. We just talked about how Algorand being the chosen platform by the SIAE for disrupting the copyright space through NFTs was already a bigger utility than most of what crypto was offering. But now when you pair this with the fact they're literally going to be used to verify the data for banking and insurance, well, you can kind of see why I've deemed Algorand to be the blockchain for Italy. But beyond all of this, what many don't know is that while Algorand itself is obviously founded out of the US due to Silvio's career at MIT, Silvio himself is actually an Italian native being born and raised in Sicily and Rome throughout his adolescence. And today we can see Silvio has since returned home on specific Algorand related initiatives such as a previous economic focused discussion where Silvio was even on the board to discuss about economic issues and improvements within the region of Italy. It's truly beautiful to watch Silvio's career go full circle and take him right back to square one where it all started. From an aspiring coder from Italy to an MIT professor for now 40 plus years and still going strong and now bringing home a technology he created himself that has the potential to completely innovate Italy's infrastructure. I mean, you couldn't write a better story if you tried. And when we really zoom out to look at everything that Algorand has done around the world since then, we can really see that their adoption has expanded far, far beyond just Italy, but almost every continent in the world has found some connections or use cases to Algorand in some way or form whether it be by providing wallets, innovating payments, using NFTs for real-world use cases, or just fundamental benefits of using blockchain technology. But as always, we'll save that rabbit hole for another time. So if you guys enjoyed this video and got some value out of it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe while turning that ringer on for more DLT breakdowns just like these. And while you're at it, check us out on X and our website at the web 3 alert and theweb3alert.com. But with that said, guys, this is Tokenizer. Appreciate all you guys for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.